Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video! Whoa! Today, I am doing an art challenge and that is the one layer, one layer, uno, uno layer challenge. I don't really know if it's like popular. I feel like it was a while ago, but this is something I wanted to try and that is painting a portrait only using one layer and this is appropriate. This is going to be my reference picture. It is um, my queen, Ayu. She is a really good singer, so she will be my subject for this experiment. I will be voicing over the next section. Um, yeah, editing share, we'll talk to you now. Whoa. Hello, hello everyone, it's me, editing share, and hi, welcome to a new video. As you can see, or as I told you before in the beginning, I am doing the one layer challenge. I really wanted to see what I could do with one layer, and ultimately, I feel like I did pretty well. I think I did, like, steer away from painting, and I kind of leaned more to the cell shaded blocky style. I think a good example would be these art pieces I've seen on Pinterest before, but I really think it turned out pretty well. I really liked the hair, and I did learn a little bit more about myself as an artist doing this exercise. If you're an artist and you are watching this video, I actually really recommend you try this out yourself because I feel like sometimes as digital artists, we can get very like sucked into the hole of using way too many layers that are actually necessary. And I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I have the fear of merging layers or the fear of accidentally merging layers and things being together. And I feel like this kind of helped me get out of that fear and just accept it and embrace having one layer. So yeah, I kind of want to take a little bit of this video just to answer some questions about how I've been. And I got some questions for you guys that I now will be answering in this video. Um, I guess I could start looking at those questions now. How did you start drawing, and why did you pick to draw anime only? Love you. Oh, thank you so much. I love you too. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, how did I start drawing? I've been drawing since I was little, but I started taking it more seriously in 2017. I actually would say that I don't only draw anime. And I think it's kind of funny that you say that because lately, especially in the last few months, like the past year or so, I've been really experimenting with going outside of my comfort zone and drawing things that aren't necessarily just anime. And I do think that now I take a lot of inspiration from anime, but I also look at other artists and styles as well because all art is beautiful. And I think I've grown out of the mindset of, I like this art style, therefore I'm only going to study it. And I've grown to accept that as someone who wants to be a better artist in all areas, I have embraced looking at all styles, all ways of art, all ways of creation, and applying that to my art pieces and myself as an artist. So, yeah, I hope that answers that question. <laughs> How did you get into art? How do you overcome art burnout? And what is your favorite animal? Thank you for the questions. Um, how did I get into art? I got into art basically when I was young. I got encouraged by the peers around me because I remember when I was young, people would be like, oh, you're so good at drawing. And I'd be like, really? Thank you so much. And I think because of that encouragement and praise I got from others, it encouraged me to pursue art further. How do I overcome art burnout? Taking breaks. So th I <laughs> I enjoy all art mediums. So other ways I take breaks are by dancing, going for walks, getting a boba tea, going to a bookstore, looking on Instagram, Pinterest, threads, Twitter, looking at all other artists that inspire me, or just watching movies and shows that give me inspiration. I don't know, something about watching a Ghibli film just makes me feel inspired. 
I guess a way to just overcome burnout is to draw fan art. <laughs> That's typically what I do. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is cats, but I also really like penguins, otters, and foxes. Another Q&A question, what do you do when you get unmotivated and how to cope with art block? Um, when I feel unmotivated, I typically will take breaks and also look at other artists for inspiration and other social medias for inspiration. Pinterest is a huge one, as well as YouTube, Instagram, threads, etc. How to cope with art block. Okay, if you're not in the mood to draw, don't force yourself to draw because that will make the creation process unenjoyable. If you don't have any inspiration, find inspiration in the everyday life. Like if you don't know what to draw, just draw what's in front of you and that can get your creative juices flowing. I think that's a good tip that can help you. Do you also, do you ever feel like artists' belief can clash with tutorials, which hinders audiences' growth slash other artists, especially younger ones? In other words, different artists might have different viewpoints on how to draw ahead, for example, and you sort of conflicted law. Okay, I think if an artist, if, especially if you're a young artist, and you're only looking at how one single artist does things, that can hinder you. I think if you want to grow as an artist and you want to get better at art in general in all areas and be the best artist you can be, you have to number one, study from life, and number two, look at how other artists draw things. I think that myself, the best way I've learned to grow at art is studying all kinds of different artists, taking different elements of what I like from their artwork, and incorporating all those different things together to make my own original quote unquote style or art pieces. An example could be, I like how this person shapes their heads, I'm gonna take that. I like how this person stylizes the lower body, I'm gonna take that. I like how this person renders their hair, I'm gonna take that. I like how this person draws eyes, I'm gonna take that. I like this person, I like how they use their textures and their art, I'm gonna steal that. Taking all those different elements and combining them together is what can make you f grow in your art and learn what you like. So yes, I do think it can hinder younger artists if they are only looking at one artist's tutorials. I hope that helps you and answers your question. Okay, another question, yay Q&A. First, are you going to do another drawing your OC soon? I'm dying to get my OC drawn. Yes, I do plan to do another one. I am currently just waiting for more people to send their characters. Currently, I only have two characters sent to me, and I at least want to draw three in the video, so at this point, I'm just waiting on someone to send an OC. Also, what are some things that you don't like to do, or pet peeves? What are my pet peeves? I don't like sports. Like, especially if it involves a ball. Like, I <laughs> I really don't like sports. Like, the only quote-unquote sport that I like is dance. So, I'm not a very athletic person. Would you ever like to have make art a career? Or are you very content with it as a hobby? I think I would like it to become my career. If I could do something in the art field, that would make me so happy because I think sharing art with the world, with an audience, if something I worked on can touch someone, inspire them, like that would mean the world to me. And I don't know how I would work in the industry at this point in my art career. I'm just focusing on being as versatile in art as possible. So if I do choose to go into the art field, I can have many career paths or options. Currently, the ones that stick out to me are colorists or people who plan out the color moods for movies, storyboarding, animatics, character design, and concept design. Those are things that really inspire me and just really captivate me, something I would enjoy doing myself one day. Last, what is your style in room decor and in clothing? Love your bits. Thank you so much for all the questions. Um, my style in my room is very, very colorful. I, If I had to compare it to something, I probably would say Y2K because I have a lot of like movie posters, Ghibli posters, art prints I've bought from artists, and 
I literally have a rainbow wall. <laughs> so I would say my room is leaning towards Y2K. And my style and clothing, I really like cute clothes. Like, I love wearing skirts and graphic t-shirts and cute shoes and... <laughs> I like doing my hair in cute ways. I don't think this will go to a surprise to anybody, but literally, like, a third of my closet is pink. So, <laughs> if that answers your question, I hope it does. Next question, how are you doing? Right now, I am doing pretty well. I'm, I'm kind of tired, but <laughs> I'm doing okay for the most part, and I hope all of you are doing well. What is your art favorite art piece you have ever made? I don't necessarily think... I have a set one favorite that I will pop up on the screen a few of my favorite pieces I've done. What is your favorite thing to draw? I think my favorite thing to draw is just fan art in general. I just like a lot of things and if I could share that love for that certain thing and share that bond with other artists, that really makes me happy. Do I have a favorite Genshin character? Yes, I do. My favorite Genshin character is Tainari, but I also really like Kokomi. Love your art videos and keep <laughs> keep going, you are amazing. Ah, thank you so much! Ah, that's so nice of you. Please do a video on your art process. Okay, I probably won't now, maybe in the future, but for now, like, I do have speed paints, so you literally can watch my entire process, so I don't necessarily feel the need right now to make a whole video in depth of how I do it, because number one, I can't explain very well, and number two, I literally have video of my whole process, so yeah, use that resource. This is a really unrelated question, but if you if you could be really good friends with a cartoon character, who would it be? Okay, I have an answer. I think I would be really good friends with Ty Lee from Avatar. We both love pink, we're both bubbly. I've been told that I <laughs> kind of look like her, and also, as I am recording this, my hair is in a braid, so we are already kind of twinning. <laughs> Next question, favorite anime ship and genre? Any plans to turn art into a career? Okay, first question. Favorite anime ship? I think my favorite anime ships are Howl and Sophie from Howl's Moving Castle and Jiro and Naoko from The Wind Rises. They're just really, really cute and I love these two couples to bits. They're so adorable. I love them so much. And my favorite anime genre is slice of life, fantasy, adventure, and shoujo. Any plans to turn art into a career? Hopefully, either in concept design, character design, color design, storyboarding, 2D animation, something along those lines. And the last question, do you have any tips for growing your channel for a beginner? I think the only bit of advice I can really give you is be consistent, or at least have a schedule. I usually stick to a schedule of posting every week, but also posting every other week works as well. That's what I usually do during the busier times of the year. But as it's summer right now, I have more time to post every week. I also think that it's important that you make really good titles, also really good thumbnails. I always try to think of making a thumbnail that I would click on if I was a viewer, and making a title that would pique my interest if I were to see it on my free page. So that would be my bits of advice, just being consistent, having a schedule that people know so they can come back to your channel and be excited and look forward to your new content. And also make sure you have good thumbnails and good titles. I think the more you do YouTube, the more you get into a flow of what you like. I think I've gotten a lot better at video editing. If you go back to like some of my earlier videos, you can definitely see that I've improved in those areas. That would be my bit of advice to people starting out their own art channels. So yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this sort of like draw with me, but also chat with me about anything really. And I hope you enjoyed this challenge. I really enjoyed it. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm actually pretty satisfied with it. So yeah, you can see the finished artwork over on my Instagram and my threads. Please go follow me on both. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye bye.